Hello gorgeous beings of light, this is Elmara. I wanted to just do a quickie video, I haven't done one of these for a while, because something came to my attention yesterday that just reminded me that sometimes when things don't work out, there is always a higher purpose for it, and you often can't see it, and you can get the shits like I did with God at the time that it happened. So on the Monday before I found this place on the Tuesday, I had just been knocked back for a place that I wanted in Talabudra, a beautiful suburb. Um, and the place really wasn't suitable. It was up a flight of 20 stairs. It was living on top of the guy's mother, so he really wouldn't have had a lot of privacy. But he looked out over all the trees and, and I just wanted it because um, I was living in a house with six people that were all fighting and smoking dope, which wasn't conducive to my energy. And I just wanted to get out of there. And when I didn't get it, I kind of surrendered. I was the first person to apply for it and I still didn't get it. So I wasn't happy. But the Talabudgera Creek ran through that property. And the young man did say, oh, it floods about twice a year and I have to bring in your bread and milk. But um, I just found it. So, and then I didn't get it and I was really pissed with God. I was really pissed and that's when I saw a tantrum and find me a place to live and then the next day this place was advertised and I moved in here two hours before my truck arrived with my five packing boxes, boxes from the south coast of New South Wales. But the point that I wanted to make is that Talabudgera Creek, um, Talabudgera, I just found out yesterday that Talabudgera had 358 mils of rain. On the old scale, and for those of you who are in America, that's over 14 inches of rain in 24 hours. So they would have done more than flooded. Um, and we just had about the same amount of rain a month ago in February. So it wasn't until I heard that I was like, oh my God, that's why you didn't move me in there. Because I would not have done too well with all the mud, all the poor people. I really feel for them that are having to just, you know, empty out buckets full of mud out of their home. So... And I probably would have been left homeless because they would have put someone else up there or whatever. But the bottom line is that I could not see, you know, we had the same amount of rain about a year ago, we had a thousand mils in less than a week. So they would have been awfully flooded back then as well. And it only just occurred to me last night, the reason that I did not get that property was spirit was looking out for me, but I couldn't see that at the time. I was just pissed with them because I hadn't found the place. But then I found this place the very next day and I have leafy green, although it's not as flash, it was 200 bucks a week cheaper and I could still see trees and birds out of every window. And we're on a bit of a hill here. So all the water runs down the driveway and other than having a really, really bad driveway, you know, with all the roads down the bottom of us are flooded and you can't get out to the shops or anything, but we're okay. And so I wanted to just remind you that sometimes when you ask for something and you don't get it, just stay in the light. <laughs> get the shits with them if you want to, but then just go on and ask for what you want still, because that's what I did. I was cranky. I was really like, find me a place to live. The very next day, this place became available and I was led to it. I was wanting to stay in bed, meditate. My guys were going, get out of bed and check your emails. Get out of bed and check your emails. And this place had just been put on the market. And so no matter what's happening, you know, remember that God doesn't close the door without opening a window. That's probably a really good thing to say there. So I hope that that helps you in these trying times. I'm sending extraordinary amounts of love and light to everybody I'm going through a bit of a pickle at the moment a life situation which I will which I absolutely know something wonderful has already happened I'm just waiting for it to show up in my physical life so and you'll be able to hear me screaming from here when it happens so um, I wanted to just remind you that there is always a higher plan no matter what, what's happening around you, no matter what nasty things people might do to you, it's really important that you remember that you have a team of higher guidance that love you, that care for you, and that will always, always look out for you. Alrighty. Love, love, love. My deepest love and richest blessings to you all. And I hope this inspires you to keep reaching higher, reaching for the light, reaching for that magnificent, powerful, awesome being of light you already are. Alrighty. Namaste, Espavo. Bye for now.